Hello and welcome to the 2014 edition of Journey to the Throne. It's always a pleasure to have you join me as we interview these young ladies vying for the Miss Dominica title. I'm joined by Donella Revere, contestant number five. Donella, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So tell me, why the interest in the Miss Dominica pageant? I love carnival and I love my culture and I see this as an opportunity for me to contribute towards my culture as well as showcase my talents and you know be an ambassador for my country. Okay, but you're no stranger to pageants. You yeah. recently won the Miss Red pageant out of a field of 21 contestants. Yes. How has preparing for the Miss Red pageant different from this the national pageant? Well, it has been very different. We, for the Miss Dominica pageant, you have to prepare for question and answer. And there are other different segments, such as swimwear mm -hmm. and talents. Mm -hmm. In the Miss Red pageant, we did not have those. We only focused on the modeling and showcasing of the different outfits. So with the Miss Dominica pageant, it is very different. It's a lot more challenging, but it's a great experience. Tell me, have you had any challenges to date? I think time management is my is most challenging for me. Okay. Um, now that I am working, I go to work for it and I leave at five. So we normally have practices on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays at five o'clock. So I have to rush from work to attend my rehearsals. And from there, I have my private practices too. So it is, time management is most challenging for me right now. Yes. It sounds like you have a packed schedule. Yes, I do have a packed schedule. Wow. And it, obviously that's different from what you're used to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you win, what will your message be? If I win, my message would be to strive for what you believe in. You know, dreams don't come to reality by, you know, just sitting there. You have to put in the hard work. And that's, what, that's exactly what my grandmother told me. And, you know, she's seeing the struggle right now with me. And, you know, she's telling me that hard work pays off. So my advice is work hard and you will succeed. Okay. Now, I'd say that... A pageant of this nature would have an effect on you. Mm -hmm. um, it would change your life in some way. How has it changed your life? Well, I am more focused on my appearance and speaking well, mm -hmm. ensuring that I use the proper speech. <laughs> so it has impacted my life drastically. What sets Donella apart from the other contestants? Donella is very confident, especially on stage. She is very energetic and vibrant, and you know she is very warm, very friendly, and I think that's what sets her apart. Your passion is dance. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I have a deep passion for dance. It is not only a form of recreation, but it is the hidden language of the soul, and I say that because I am able to express myself through joy, through sadness, and you know, those emotions come out when I dance. Mm -hmm. I also think that dance is like a lifetime management for one's health because you are able to move your body in dance. And you know, with that, there are so many non-communicable diseases arising right now, such as cancer and obesity. And with those diseases, you know, when you dance, you are able to move your body. But with cancer, you are able to make your body become fully oxygenated. And cancer cannot survive in areas that are fully oxygenated. Well, you taught me a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> I think I better start dancing. Do better. you have a preference for any particular style of dance? And if so, tell me why. I love modern and contemporary dances. Mm -hmm. I think that's my strongest point because of my frame. Um, I'm able to stretch my body and, you know, being flexible. So that's my type of dancing. Okay. And, and why do you like that type of dance? I love it because, you know, you know, 
when you have a passion for something, whether you know it might not look good for somebody else or whatever, but mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I like. <laughs> Your bio says that you aspire to be a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Why a fashion designer? Well, I look at the young people as well, and I, I notice that they are interested in fashion design and interested in modeling. And, you know, if I aspire to be a fashion designer and I come back to my country, I will be able to contribute towards that and at least open a modeling agency and open a fashion empire where, you know, I can advertise my fashion, not only locally, but internationally. And then what would happen to your passion, which is dance? I will still have my passion here. Okay. But I mean, you know, it, I also have an, to be a dream to become a fashion designer, so. Okay, and where or how would you draw inspiration for your designs? You know, I would target the young people and have fashion weeks here in Dominica and invite um, international investors and, you know, showcase my talent through that. Okay, your bio says that you were raised by your grandmother. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the biggest lesson taught to you by her? Well, you know, she always told me that dreams don't come to reality as we just sit in there. And my biggest lesson was when I entered this pageant, I realized what she was talking about. Mm. And I've seen the change in me with the hard work that I put in. And you know, she was right. How has her influence shaped your life? It has changed my life, my life um, in a very big way. Um, she taught me morals and values that I can look back now and see that, you know, she taught me well. What's your best and worst quality? <laughs> my best quality is that I am, I have a good heart. I am very loving. And my worst quality might be that I worry a lot. You know, okay. sometimes mm -hmm. when I see things not going my way, I tend to worry a bit, but. Okay, and that's natural. Yes. <laughs> what is your definition of beauty? My definition of beauty is someone who is loving, someone who is intelligent, someone who is generous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who or what inspires you? <laughs> I would say that my grandmother inspires me and also my uncle. Mm. He's the one who taught me how to move my hips and made me develop a passion for dance. And he's very hardworking. So, you know, I would love to be just like him one day. Okay. You're representing the community, well, the city. I shouldn't even say <laughs> the community, Roseau. the city of Roseau. Um, what are some of government's initiatives taking place in the community and how do you think it impacts the people and the community of Roseau? Well, through the government of Dominica, you know, I know that there is a situation with um, vagrancy in Roseau and the Roseau City Council, with the help of the government, is trying to, you know, provide a facility that allows them to, you know, take care of, their, take care of themselves, um, bathe, eat, etc. Because they are humans too, they are, they are just like us, and we need to provide that care. And I must commend the government of Dominica for doing. The Child Abuse Prevention Unit is focused on bringing awareness to the issue of child abuse in Dominica this month, specifically in the Kalanago Territory. What's your take on child abuse? I think child abuse is wrong, mm -hmm. and I strongly believe that anybody who are practicing child abuse should be penalized. I really think so. You know, these are they are the future of Dominica, and if we abuse them, then who are going to take up that mantle to help develop our country? If you were an advocate for child abuse, what are some of the things that you might go out there and, and preach and bring awareness to? That, <laughs> mm, I would say that they are the leaders of tomorrow and 
we need them for development of our country and it is very important to have them. Okay. <laughs> Government has recently invested in a monumental state house for the country. Why do you think it's important for a country to have a state house? Or do you think it's important for a country to have a state house? It is important for our country to have a state house. It's, to me, it is what describes our country. Well, I wouldn't say describe our country, but it is the face, I would say, of our country. The United States has their White House, and you know, it's located in the capital of the city, the capital city. And it is the face of Washington, mm -hmm. as you see. Mm -hmm. So it is great for us to have a White House. It is the face of Brazil, I would say. Okay. Would you say that you are spiritual or religious? I would say both. God plays a significant role in my life. I, I pray every night and every morning. And, you know, my grandmother normally reads the Bible, you know, to us. Recently, I have not been reading the Bible with her seeing that my schedule is so hectic these days. But she has normally do that with me. What's your favorite scripture? Psalms 23. The entire psalm? Yes, the entire Psalms 23. Okay, why? You know, I, I do think that there is evil out there that, you know, sometimes we, how can I say it? There is evil out there. And, you know, we need to have God in our life in order for us to strive in life, for us to be successful in life. And evil may tend to bring us down. And we need to pray and make God first in our life. Okay. Each of the contestants has a platform, something that is dear to them. Donella, I'd like you to speak to your viewers about your platform and tell them why it's important to you. My platform is dance and dance plays a significant role in one's life. It is not only a form of entertainment or a form of recreation, but dance can help you keep healthy. And we have a lot of non-communicable diseases arising, so I would like to use dance to raise the awareness of being healthy and promoting health with my platform dance. Okay. That was Donella Revere, who aspires to be a fashion designer, but whose platform is dance, representing Roso. Be sure to join her on the eve of February 28th, where I'm sure she'll leave you captivated and wanting more. That was it for this edition of Journey to the Throne. See you next time. I'm Pearl Fontaine.